Black Busters. What's cracking with a family? This is Black Busters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. Man, I am your host, Big John, mm -hmm. along with my co-host, Kid Tony. Kid Tony. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Man. Hey, man. Uh, I'm. I'm. This is a, a great day, bro. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And that's because we have a a, a humongous guest, Paul. <laughs> Paul, it's like a motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> we got a great guest here, man. Um, this dude is an inspiration, man. He, he's a, he's a dope individual. I can tell by you walking in the room, bro. The energy is already dope. Um, I want y'all to uh, give a round of applause <laughs> for Brother Calmatic. Mm -hmm. so, 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 yeah. mm -hmm. so, what's up? What's up, bro? Man, chilling. Thank chillin'. you, thank trying, you for being trying here. To, trying to um, trying to come down from this high, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's been going crazy the last couple of weeks, but you know, I'm back to reality. Hey, you know hey what that's what's up, man. Uh, you seem pretty, man. Pretty grounded, homie. Like uh, I love that, bro. I love that about you. Um, yeah, man. You said coming down from a high. I, I'm sure it's surreal. Uh, damn, this, is this the first one? First one. Man. Yeah, man. For those, I'm sure y'all know, man. If y'all don't know, this is um, Kyle Maddox, the, uh, the director of the new film, House Party. Uh, if y'all haven't seen it, please go see it. Um, you definitely will be entertained. Uh, the energy was dope in it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Um, I got questions for sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I definitely was entertained. I can say that. Um, man, house party. <laughs> we all know it. And, um, we, let's start real quick. Before we get into that, let me ask you, like, where you from, bro? From L.A., man. You from the crib. Yeah, you know what all, all over. I didn't grew up on every corner you can imagine. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, grew up in, like, Sinella, La Brea. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 hey. Uh, 102nd in Van Ness. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Flo Florence and Normandy. Yep. Slauson over here. I've been around, bro. All so, the okay. spots. Yeah, all, all, the the, spots. all the spots. All the spots. That's probably why he's been around. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I tell people I feel like I always lived on the borderline, like, right across the street from the crazy shit. Oh, so yeah. I was, like, nah, nah. I was the one just kind of looking over, like, damn, it's crazy over There's a Popeye's on Sinella and La Brea, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, never, yeah, I never could the go to that The biggest chickens I've ever seen in my life. Huh? The biggest chickens I've ever seen in my life. They, I ordered a thigh. This shit looked like a back. It looked like <laughs> a thigh. looked like a turkey. <laughs> huge. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to... Uh, yeah, my brother lives right over there. My brother lives right, right there on the Edgewood. Yep. You know? I was on Eucalyptus. Um, Eucalyptus. Hills, oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely borderline. And um, that, that Ralph's right there. The Ralph's. Uh, the whole little... They got a Starbucks over there now. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's yep. super. It's gentrified. It's trying to just... Yeah, for sure. Um, they nah, bloods, bro. they plasmas now. <laughs> they plasmas. <laughs> <laughs> plasmas. I love it. Yeah, uh, same here, man. Uh, very similar. I grew up everywhere. 94th Vermont, uh, 54th in yeah. Compton Ave. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? 79th and uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that, that was different. Like, growing up on, on 94th Vermont and then mm -hmm. going over there. For sure. Yeah, it was definitely different when they find out what you, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, uh, nah, I get it, bro. Um. And that's even makes this more special for me because because you are from here, you from the crib. Where did you yeah. go to high school? I went to Uni High. Okay, the Uni. Yeah, my mom used to work at the VA hospital, mm -hmm. Santa Monica. So like, yeah, so like that's mm -hmm. straight up the four or five. Yeah, yep. drive me off real quick. Yeah, yeah. boom, yep. boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Um, got some uh, nice middle school, school and all that elementary, <laughs> middle school. Where you I went to uh, so so elementary. I went to a school called Century Park. Okay. Which is right off like 109th and yeah. in, uh, in Van Ness, like, uh -huh. you know, over there. I think Ice Cube went there. Uh -huh. And then for junior high, that's when I moved to Inglewood and I went right. to La Tierra, La Tierra. Mm -hmm. which is oh. the, the school from the wood. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. So, like, the year I went there, they was like filming the wood, like, that summer. That's, oh, you know wow. What I'm so, that's, that's full yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. so that's that, full circle. Yeah. So, uh, dope. So, right then and there, seeing that, seeing them filming the wood at your school, when did you get the, uh, I wouldn't. Um, so, did you start off saying I, I want to make films? Nah, man. I mean, to be honest, like I got like from an early age, I was always like curious about how shit worked, right? Like how to like you know. I remember watching like cartoons and they show like the behind the scenes, like the animation yeah. or like you know making a video on MTV, you know that kind of shit. But 
you know, I was always into technology. Like at an early age, I went to this after school program on like 91st and Western. Mm -hmm. It was like one of them, you know, keep kids out of the street, yeah, you know, of type of situations. Mm -hmm. um, and I learned how to use a computer. Like they taught me like everything about the computer. And I became like this little like computer whiz at like mm -hmm. an early age. So I was like making banners for my mama's like homegirls birthday mm -hmm. parties mm -hmm. and like little flyers for like All little right. gathering banquets no. and shit like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. um, and so that curiosity kind of led me to music where I was like, man, like, I want to figure out how to be a producer. And so I started making beats. I started rapping. And I was, you know, with a bunch of other rappers around LA. Like, I was mm -hmm. with, like, Anderson Pack or, like, Dom mm -hmm. Kennedy mm -hmm. right. or Casey Veggie, all these, like, LA artists as a producer. But at the same time, I'm the tech the tech dude. Yeah. So when they need, you know, a MySpace design, I was the one, like, coding up HTML, you know, hooking Damn. them up. Or, yeah. or whenever they needed... Um, you know, an album cover or like a flyer for their show, yep. I was the one who did it in Photoshop. Yeah. And so, you know, me and my boy, we started a little business where it's like, yo, we got to really like do this and try to like, you know, become like a, you know, a all in-house graphic design, you know, art direction company. Um, and we started doing it. We had a lot of success, but then, you know, one day came home, Somebody broke in my crib. They stole everything. God they stole, damn it. They stole my Save laptop. They stole mm -hmm. my, my camera. You know what I'm saying? They stole they stole everything. And, you know, by the grace of God, we had uh we had renters insurance. Damn. And so my mom was like, you know, like what kind of what kind of camera did you have? What kind of camera? And yeah. then I, and you had an Ari? I, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> right, so, right. so so instead of telling her I had a uh, you know, a, a Canon Rebel that could barely, you know, right. hold one gig, I was like, yo, I had a brand new Canon 7D, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, I replaced my my Dell computer with like, you know, a MacBook Pro 17 inch, game, extra hard drive yeah, space. Yeah, so yeah, now I'm going back to my homies that I was doing music with. Especially this group called Overdose, who I who I worked a lot with, and instead of like making music, I got the camera out and I'm filming them. Mm -hmm. And so video. I was like, "Shit, the next step is like, let's just shoot some music videos." Yeah. And so I literally went on YouTube and like just figured out how to make music videos. And mm -hmm. you know, it just so happened that they were you know on the come up, and they you know had other artists like Pharrell <laughs> and Childish Gambino, you know, trying to sign them and. And they ended up getting signed. And so the bigger they got, the bigger the budgets got. And I was kind of there to, you know, benefit from their success as well. Right. So that's, that's kind of how it all, you know, kicked off on and the filmmaking side. And that's dope that they, they stuck crazy. with you. So like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when y'all started almost like together in a sense, right? Yep, yep. And then um, they started to uh, elevate their careers. And they was like, yo, yo, Cal, man, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, dude, people call you, uh, it's Cal, Cal yeah, you, yeah, you call me Chuck. It, I mean, it's all good. Ch okay. Chuck, Cal, mm -hmm. whatever. It's okay, all cool. Good. Yeah. That's what makes sure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. I don't want to start giving you nicknames <laughs> on air. Like, yeah. hey, niggas don't call me that. Don't call me <laughs> what you doing, bro? <laughs> Cut the yeah. cameras off. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, man, don't call me that. <laughs> Cal. <laughs> nah, yeah. Um, that's, I, I would just imagine folks would do that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, um, yeah. That's dope, bro. So yeah, it's it just and to get it out the mud with them dudes, it, it sounds mm -hmm. that's, that's a dope ass story too, man. So yeah, um, did it feel like a gift, right? Like oh, when I got it, no. Uh, what uh, I mean by <laughs> is like when you started doing the music videos, like like you went to film school, right? Yeah. Um, I went to kind of like television radio production so I was behind the camera too right. I went, when I was in college I wanted to shoot music videos mm. right I was hella inspired by Hype Williams yeah. at the time and all of his videos were masterpieces Right. and I remember the first time I tried to do it it was very clear <laughs> I did not have the eye mm. like I did not know how to get on camera what I wanted to get on camera yeah from your mind yeah. to like like I knew execute. story I knew story I knew what I was trying to do but I could not frame the shots right. I could not. Mm. I could not tell the story visually that I had in my head. That feels like an art, like a right. gift to be right. able to see whether it be the artist or the set or what you're trying to create and actually create that shit. Mm -hmm. nice. That is a gift for me. That's an eye. Yes, yeah, it's, it's one thing to like know the culture, but it's another thing to like recreate the culture in a very accurate way, yeah. but also like in a way that looks good, you know, yeah. cinematically. And I right. think, uh, you know, for me, like I, I'm, I'm a fan of just art and just music and music videos. And I think a lot of my early growth was me, <laughs> you know, um, knowing what I didn't want. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, mm -hmm. like I know that's not it. So let me right. just like, put that to the side and try to try something else. And then mm -hmm. through that, I started to like find myself and even, you know, having a lack of resources, I started to like find my own style and my own aesthetic as a filmmaker yeah. that I think separated me at a, from, from an early, you know, stage. Um, right. But yeah, man, it was, um, 
I mean, it, 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 I learned a lot. I mean, my first videos was trash, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I just kept going. All and of kept experimenting. Work. Yeah. All of our work. <laughs> Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you, um, did you ever go to like school for this? Or are you all self taught? No, nah, I didn't go to school. All self taught, man. What a story! What a story! And that's man. what it is. And so, what a story! A lot of folks when, when they find out that I went to film school, and they're like, "Oh, well, that's why you. That's why you doing all this. <laughs> Nah, bro. I yeah. know. I know some film. I didn't know you went to film school. That's mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I went, uh, but I, I started with a camera in my hand yeah. in high school. I, I was going on the football recruiting trip uh, up to dope. Cal, where I went to end up going to school, and I, um, I was going on the football recruiting trip, and then I found out at my high school, my senior year, that they had a, a video class. Uh, I, I, the whole time in mm-hmm. high school, I had no clue. I used to walk past this class all day. I never had a class in that building. Right. What high school you go to? I went to high school in San Diego. Oh, you? So okay. I moved to San Diego. Um, in high school, to go. I okay. went to Sweetwater. You know okay, what I'm cool. Shout yeah. out to Sue High. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now, uh, my whole family went to, um, I'm the youngest, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I left. My mom sent me to my pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but uh, I went Get to 47 out Elementary. I went to Audubon. Yeah, yeah. And now from there, I went to, uh, uh, I kicked out of there. I went to Bret Hart. And, and, okay, and, and, yeah. And then I went to John Mayer. <laughs> yeah. And then my mom was like, all right, man, you going to yeah, see yeah, your yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, you didn't you need to go to John. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, indeed. And so, uh, it, it, yeah. So, John, um, you were in, pa- in Altadena? No, no, no. Uh, 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 in Sawson. Okay. In Sawson, Vermont. Vermont, yeah. In the middle school. Got you, got you. Cool. So by the time I got to high school, it was in Dago. You know what I'm saying? Dope, so, dope. but uh, yeah. So uh, I, I took this camera and I went up to the bay, and I and I, and I filmed the whole recruiting trip. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's fire. Yeah, and that's not like oh, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't going, if I ain't going to lead, this is what I want to do. So, mm-hmm. um, so when I when I applied, um, for my major and all that, um, film is what I wanted to do. Oh, dope. You know what that's I'm fire. So, yeah. but uh, bro, since I've been, I, I've learned more. <laughs> just in the streets, of course. doing on, it on, on your own, pers- on your own personal sets, yeah. And then, the, and then any any classroom, classrooms are great. Um, you network, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. You go to you, you sit next to other people who love to make films and mm-hmm. stuff like that, learn about it. But it's nothing like being on the being on the uh, on the on the, your own set, sure. doing your own thing. So, and that's how you get great, in my opinion. So, a lot of folks, you know, I mean, for for what we do, uh, I would say. School is cool, <laughs> but you don't have to don't 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 have don't lack confidence because you didn't go to college mm-hmm. to learn how yeah, to man. make films. You can learn you can learn, you know what I'm saying? You can self teach yourself. You can learn through YouTube University and, and direct yeah, a learn. major motion picture. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. Direct a major, a major motion, motion picture, picture from picking up a camera and <laughs> yeah. shooting the homies yeah, to to uh, to that's, doing this, man. That's it's phenomenal. It's, it's super dope, man. That's. Uh that's fire, bro. So like, um when did you say Okay, I'm a. Uh, it, it went from I want I'm producing, I'm making, I'm, I'm I'm rapping, to okay, I want to I want to shoot the homies now. Now I'm gonna shoot the other rapper homies that's around me, to where like I want to make this a career. Like did, did someone like pull you in? Like or was you like I want to shoot films one day? Yeah, it was. It's weird because I was with this group overdose. Like I was damn near a part of the group. Like right. I was like doing all like for like maybe like two or three years. I only did their videos, mm-hmm. but they were like the best videos like on the underground LA scene. Mm-hmm. So I felt good about it. And then it, it was a point where like people just kept hitting me up. Like I remember problem like came to my house and was like. Um. Here, I'm giving you money to like mm-hmm. shoot my video, mm-hmm. like take it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I realized at that point that I had to kind of branch out and just work with other artists, and mm-hmm. you know, and I started to like make money off of it, and and but also just like getting my name out there even further than I, you know, I thought if I'm the biggest, you know, director in LA, that's all I wanted. But to mm-hmm. know that it was artists from Atlanta and New York that wanted to fly me out to shoot videos, like that let me know that you know there was something bigger happening, you Damn. know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so it, it got to that point. So question, and I ask you, as a, when you first started doing videos, I'm assuming they was either for free or for the low. Oh, bro. Yeah. I, it's, it's so funny. Like, I didn't do, <laughs> like, I think for, like, my first, like, four years of videos, I don't think I got paid. Like, four I did, years? Yeah, like, I did, I did, Savage. Like, like, all the overdose videos, I didn't get paid until they got signed. And then I did, right. like, the first video I got paid. Then uh, I did some Kendrick videos back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't get paid, right. but it was like it was it was cool though. It wasn't like oh like the niggas owe me money. You know what I'm no, saying? It was just you like was working. yeah, it was and it was also I'm, fun. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Of course. And you see that I, I believe I will hope you saw the bigger picture for sure. And I'm, yeah. Yeah, you like the artist too. Yeah. When I first got paid, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I was just like this yeah. is crazy. You know, some money doing and this. I, and I probably got shorted to be honest. Like <laughs> right. I should have got paid, but it was just like the fact that I was able to you know quote unquote make a living off of it. It like definitely changed like. Like my approach to it for sure. It, right. it reminds me of like that thing that they tell people, like find the thing that you would do for free. 
yeah. right? and do it, right? right. Mm-hmm. And you hear stories about people who do that, who do the mm-hmm. thing that they love for free. Right. They don't let the check or the bag stop them from working, yeah. <laughs> and then the riches come later. Yeah. So, like, you out here working for free mm-hmm. because you're having fun, you love yep. it, you do it for free, right. gaining all of these skills, cultivating all of this stuff that's going to pay out yeah, like that's later in a major you put way. Yourself through college. Yeah, <laughs> messing four years of free, uh, uh, free videos is putting yourself through college. Exactly. Message. A lot of times, people. Uh, I, I say this: when you see a singer, like a dope ass a vocalist, you be like, okay, they that person he or she started in church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Those film directors started making music videos. Yeah, you know for saying? sure. For sure. I, I myself, I, I didn't did so much free stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so. Uh, but because I saw the bigger picture, for one, I loved it, and for two, usually the person I was shooting for, I really appreciated that his part. or her work. That part, you know what I'm saying? So I was, that it was, part. it was like a joy to exactly. that song is so dope. I want to be. Oh, I got an idea for that. One hundred percent. I mean, I, I tell people all the time, like, you know, people ask, like, how can I do music videos with bigger artists? And I'm like, don't think about that. Like, find the artist that you like, fire, and then y'all can both benefit from each other. Like, mm-hmm. they get music videos, and then you get to work on your craft right? and make sure that the music is dope because like I would hate to be doing some free shit for some whack ass rappers right, and, like, of course, of you know course. what I mean mm-hmm. so I right. think like that's that's the bonus part like I kind of take pride in like every music video that I've done has been with a dope artist right. like I don't really just do like random ass like video mm-hmm. just because you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying not chasing the bag chasing the bread yeah, nah, yeah. I like the song I, I met yeah. this dude shout out to my boy Sean Carson um, I I, I I was shooting a music video for another artist, and he was doing. A, he was a singer on the song. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "This dude is dope." You yeah. know what I'm saying. So we built a friendship there. He saw me. He saw me directing the video. So of course he want to holler at me. Hey, well, what's up? He said, "This is my number, bro. I would love yeah. to work with you one day." So I'm trying to get him to pay me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like I'm like, "Yeah, bro. This is how much I charge uh, per video. This is the other for the edit too. Blah 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 blah." And he was like, "All right, cool, cool. Let me let me try to put that together." And then I start hanging out with him. I start going to his house. And I see that he got his he got a bedroom studio. Everything's in his, everything is he he made all his beats, wrote all this music, mm-hmm. recorded all his music, all in his bedroom. He had two jobs, had a bucket that he was driving, <laughs> and one time he had to give me a jump on my bucket that I was driving. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so I went to his I went to his restaurant that he worked at. He worked at Umami Burger, and uh, I said, "Oh, this dude's grinding. Yeah, he's working. He mm-hmm. he's a, he's a, a tough. He he works hard." And he mm-hmm. believes in himself, and he all the money he makes, he puts into his own equipment, yeah. and so it, it got to the point where I was like, I can't try, I can, but yeah. he don't have the money, but I won't. Yeah. And I saw that I saw that he didn't have the money. Some mm-hmm. people got the bread, but they don't want to invest themselves. That part, mm-hmm. yeah. And so he was like, nah, uh, he never told me no. I saw him trying to get the money together. I was like, I want to shoot this video because all these songs are dope. Yeah. And man, I said, bro, let's just shoot these, bro. Yeah. I got on. Don't even worry about it. He's one of my closest friends, man. I even that's know dope. other dudes now that's close to me now because I met them through him. That's crazy. And so, See? and he's a dope boy. Um, he's still on the gr- on, on the grind. Yeah. But I'm saying like the nigga, he, the dude's a dope ass artist, and he's like a brother to me now. Yeah. And we, and I, but it started off with me trying to make him a client. Mm-hmm. But I think you know I think that's dope too because I think like sometimes. Obviously, our, our goal is like success and like making a living. But at the end of the day, like we're making art and we're documenting people's art, right? right? And I think like you know sometimes I'll do a music video that I probably won't put out there or like you know mm. I don't put my name on it, but right. I still treat it precious because this person they probably not gonna make it, but at least like 10, 15, 20 years from now they can like show this to their grandkids. Uh, like this is when I used to rap. You know that. what I'm saying? Right, yeah, like, right. like like imagine if our parents like had a little small band back in the eighties and uh-huh. they or in the seventies and they made a music video. The we pride. would we we would cherish that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I try mm-hmm. to like think about it from a human perspective as well. It's just like awesome. this is like a you know a photo album of this person's creativity in this moment. And that's awesome. You know that's a good way right. to look at it that's too. Awesome. That's that's very true. Very. Yeah. My my mom showed me a uh, powder <laughs> puff football trophy mm-hmm. <laughs> when she was in college my mom is not the person you thought would ever yeah. be able to catch a football mm-hmm. or nothing like that my mom I said well, come on. my mom I said what you know what's funny bro my mom my mom went to uh, went to Bret Hart for real? And she said she used to run point guard at Bret Hart. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't never see you touch mm-hmm. a basketball right, and, yep. you, and you ran point guard for Bret right. Hart. Like, mm-hmm. what? Like, right. But I, yeah, no, that's but but imagine if we had that footage. Exactly. You know what exactly, I'm saying? And being able, I would able definitely to document that. Like that, a highlight you know reel. Yeah, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? So I think that's our, our other job, like, besides trying to, you know, be all Hollywood. Like, we have to just document humans right. you know, as they exist. You know? So, so speaking mm-hmm. of Hollywood, yeah. how does 
how does what's the start of this movie process, right? From yeah. and I'm talking specifically about like House Party. Yeah. How how what what is the origin story of yeah. the project and how you get involved with it? Man, so to be honest, like I feel like the energy, like before I really knew what was gonna happen, like I think it all started with LeBron coming to LA. Mm -hmm. And I know this is like kind of yeah. random, maybe a tangent, but I remember my dad in like 2010 or something was like I'm telling you, man, LeBron coming to LA. And I was like, in 2010? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, and I'm, he like, and I'm, like and I'm like, bro, this, I'm like, he is not coming to LA. This was like right when he like was winning in Miami. Right, I'm right, like, right. he ain't about to come to LA. And he was like, I'm telling you, all the greats play for the Lakers. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm Your like, whatever. Wise. I, I even tweeted like my dad tripping. He think LeBron coming to LA. Mm -hmm. And then whatever that was, 20. 15, whatever that year. When did, when did LeBron come to LA? 2018? Uh, 2018. Yeah, I remember yeah. when he came, it was like, I was like, oh shit, like LeBron <laughs> here. Like my dad was right. right. And so everything that was happening, I was like really in tune with like, what is he doing in LA? Like, how's he going to help the economy? Like all that kind of right. like shit, you know what I'm saying? And I remember he was on the cover of the Hollywood Reporter with right. his production company at Warner Brothers. Mm. And it was like him standing there with all his like staff with Spring Hill. And mm -hmm. it was like, yo. And I remember even tweeting like, yo, it's a new day in LA. Like mm -hmm. the film industry is changing. We got a, you know, we got a real one out here, like trying to make shit happen. And so that was happening. And then at the same time, you know, I, I knew uh, Childish Gambino's creative team through working with Childish Gambino on music videos mm -hmm. and they announced like the writers from Atlanta are set to write House Party remake with LeBron and I remember DM and one of the writers Jamal who um, you know dope dope writer him and Steve Glover uh, Donald Glover's brother I mm -hmm. remember DM and him ASAP like yo bro I need first dibs on House Party and this is like 2018 like mm -hmm. I hadn't done like you know any like big big music videos or commercials at that point and right. to be honest i was low-key just like fucking around yeah yeah you gotta shoot <laughs> like, you know how it is like, if you see court, somebody, yeah, like like if you announce tomorrow like oh i got a new i got a new spotify pod i'm like yeah. yo what's up bro you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like it's just one of those things i did but like and to be honest they didn't even respond you know what i'm saying mm. and uh, even though they was my homies like they just kind of like you know brushed it off right and then you know over the course of that you know year and a half it took for them to, you know, write the script. You know, I was, I did the Anderson, some Anderson Pack videos. I did the Old Town Road video with Lil Nas mm. X. And I made sure to like put some type of narrative moment in the music video so, so that people can say like, oh, he can do, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. He can do that. And so Smart. it just so happened that like the timing just worked out perfectly. Like right when they needed, a, right when they started like taking meetings with directors, I had Old Town Road popping. I had, you know, I'd done a bunch yeah. of Super Bowl commercials. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, you know, I went in for the meeting. I already knew them. And I just kind of gave them my my pitch based off of the script that they, mm -hmm. you know, initially gave me on how, you know, I wanted to, you know, um, bring this movie to life in right. 2022. I mean, okay. the Old Town Road love that, video yeah. is such, to me, probably more important than like the song itself. Right, oh, yeah. because we watched sure. the video yeah. a gang of times, yeah. and to me, the video like captures the lightheartedness of 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 the yeah. of of the song. Right, yeah. and so that video blows up, and mm -hmm. it's such a great visual video. Right, right, that like I can imagine having that on the resume. Of course, <laughs> this guy's got the golden goose, right? Yes. Like you know, you you on your way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you on your you way. You on your way. You the next Lenny Bruce. You on your way. You the next Lenny Bruce. You the next Lenny Bruce. Yeah, man, that's wow. so damn dope, bro. Um, so you just basically reached out and it was like shooting from half court, like, hey, bro, I got I need first dibs on house party. Yeah, man. Especially being from the crib. Now, question. Let me ask you this: <laughs> um, Where you think the original house party was filmed? That's so funny because actually. Even before I got into this movie, or, or like I was attached to it, I had that same question, and I mm -hmm. and I figured it out. So technically, they did film it in in L. A. Uh -huh. But it it wasn't it wasn't set in L. A. They never said L. A. in the movie. True, mm -hmm. true, true. But because even even when they were in L. A., like it wasn't they was in like it was interesting. They were actually in like. East LA, like mm -hmm. East East LA. Mm -hmm. I said that. Like they was over there by. The, I, don't, I don't know the name of the projects, but you know the projects by the Sixth Street Bridge. Like, yes. The, like I don't know what. The, like they yeah. was over there though. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We ain't never been over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but you, you drove we past it. But you're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You yeah. don't want to. You, you don't want to get no gas. Yeah, over I'm there. not running out of gas here. But I definitely right. like because I I, I kind of consider myself like an LA historian too. I just right. love like different like you know like random trivia about Los Angeles, and I remember looking that up and seeing that some of the locations were over there. 
there. Mm-hmm. I think they might have filmed in like Pasadena too. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it kind of got that vibe in mm-hmm. the neighborhood. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I agree, man. Uh, <laughs> it, I saw, especially uh, Shireen's project. That's, that's L.A. Oh, yeah. That, it, that, it, those it, projects it, 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 were those projects. Like, right, that's exactly. projects, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I knew yep. it was L.A. Um, even though the house that... Uh, Kid lived in look that could be that could it be look, Baltimore. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think that was Pasadena. That's, yeah, you know what exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. so. That I mean the fact that uh, nah, it's dope. And I, I I would I get why you was like I got to do house party for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. I got to yeah. do it. Yeah. And so so even so Anderson Pack was he he wasn't signed when you knew him. When nah, first, nah, that's crazy. Nah, I mean to be honest, I met so I used to when I first got my camera. At the same time where I was starting doing the music videos, I would like go around LA and just film like different things happening. Like, like I would pull up to like Sloss and Tees and like interview Nipsey and like have him give us a tour of his shop. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Like that's on YouTube right now. Like that's what I used to do. Like just go to like different little For free. cultural landmarks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to like I, that was content back then without me mm-hmm. even knowing. Mm-hmm. And I used to go to this open mic in uh in Lamert Park. It was a spot called Bananas, and it was mm-hmm. like you know just a you know open mic situation right. and I remember being there and seeing like seeing somebody play the drums and rapping at the same time and that shit was like mm-hmm. it wasn't even about like what he was rapping about I really thought yeah, it was also it. like some like you know Guinness Book of Records type shit yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. how's he doing that genius. and he getting off you know what I'm right, saying right, right, and he's right, right. singing and I right. was just like yo I, I remember that, that night I literally filmed and I was like yo bro we gotta work we gotta do something uh-huh. and you know he was like oh yeah I like your videos from Overdose and and I, it took us a while to actually do something because he didn't really even have songs like that. Mm. He was just performing. Right. And once he got a little song, then we connected. I think I did a video for him for like three hundred dollars, bro. And, and it didn't That's even come the, out. It didn't uh-huh. even come out because mm. it wasn't that good. Uh huh. And but we've always been like, yo, we gotta do something. We gotta do something. And so mm. once he got that budget. He was like, yo, I know exactly who I want to work with. And, that's dope. And that's when that's we started so working. Cool. That's yeah. dope that he came back and was like, yo, Calmatic, bro, I got I got yeah. a budget now. Yeah, you know yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. then my boy did the same thing. Um, he came, when he finally met somebody that had a budget for a video, he hit me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so for sure. that's a beautiful thing, bro. When when folks actually uh like stay loyal to stay loyal to the soil, man, they're like, bro, I got you. When when the time comes, oh, yeah. you might be doing all this shit for mm-hmm. free now, but when the time comes, the people that you really uh rock with at the beginning come back and like, bro, now nah, listen. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's dope, bro. Man, um, so house party, the new uh what would you call is it's not a reboot, is it? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know what, at this point, I don't even know what to call it. I mm-hmm. mean, like I, I I've been telling people like I come from music, right? And I, I think like it's like I'm making a, a new beat or I'm making mm-hmm. a new song, but I'm sampling, you know, yeah. the original. And yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I might I might chop it up so you don't even really recognize the sample unless you really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still, you know, I'm I'm adding new drums to it. I'm adding a different bass line and mm-hmm. you know, it sound like something fresh and new. But mm-hmm. you know, maybe, you know, maybe our parents was like, Oh, that's just old, yeah, you know, yeah. house party. Mm-hmm. But my brother's that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but to us it's a new it's a new thing that we love. So mm-hmm. that's kinda how I've been approaching it. And I don't know what you want to call that, a remix or yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. But it's, it's, it's a, a new real, movie. A reimagining. <laughs> yeah. A, a reimagining of um, <laughs> house party. I thought uh so but in the original the working title has always been house party? Yeah, yeah. It was never like anything else you know Mm -hmm. i think so once lebron you know he came to la he had a deal with uh warner brothers and a part of that deal was space jam and to remake house party Mm -hmm. so that was a part of the deal and so you know obviously this space jam and that's what he wanted to do yeah that was lebron was was like i wanted to redo house party Mm -hmm. yeah and i I was like and i I think they kind of when you set up at a studio i think they kind of let you know like okay these are some things that we're looking to do like what do you want to do mm-hmm. like you know right. these are you know this the property we have the right yeah the to, property yeah like this is like IP. the demographic we need to fulfill whatever mm-hmm. all that kind of shit and i think the house party came up and he was into it no oh. so yeah. when you um you, did you read the script before you went you just heard that they were doing house party he was like i want to be a part of that yeah i, I just heard i just heard it i knew i knew the dudes from atlanta was writing the script so i'm like yo i got to be a part of that like mm-hmm. we already know what they do what they what they show and it's just like if we can apply that to some like, to some like house to like some house party cultural shit, like yeah, I'm yeah, down, yeah. like I need to, I need to be in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. And uh, you said they didn't, they didn't hit you back right away. Nah, they. I mean, I I talked to them before, so it wasn't like I was like random, but like mm-hmm, they right. just didn't respond right away, yeah, and, yeah. and I was like whatever. But you know, I got that call, you know, maybe a year and a half later, and it was like, all right, so what's up? Like you trying to you trying to figure this out and. I went yeah. into it, you know. So question. It's crazy. So you get a movie, uh, you, you you do something like, uh, 
like the earlier videos with overdose and everything, and um, I'm sure you like you said limited resources, and then you do and you start doing bigger videos like uh, Old Town Road, like with all them graphics. So uh, are you are you versed in like graphic design like that? Yeah. So you was like, okay, this is that was, that was your idea. Did you do that? Yeah, so, I'm, yeah, I'm super versed in graphic design. My major, so I didn't graduate from college, but I mm, went to college for graphic right. design. Okay. And even back in the day when I was doing people's MySpace pages, like I was designing all the graphics. Mm. So like, even to this day, like I'm, I'm like a nerd for like fonts and like graphic design mm. and like you know, streetwear yeah. and you know what I'm saying, all that kind of shit. I literally just saw somebody uh, logo the other day and I was like, yo, that's a dope logo. Like I love mm. that font. You know what I yeah, mean? So dope, I'm, dope, dope. I'm into that for sure. So that's what. Uh, so the reason why that video looks so dope, because I'm, I'm, I'm always curious, because like as a, as a, as a writer and a film director, and you know, just, just doing just the, uh, videos and whatnot, I'm not a graphic dude. So I, yeah. so when I think I see a video like a Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. I can't stand yeah, the rain, yeah, yeah. or a Ludacris video, yeah. or a, a, a Old Town Road. I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. <laughs> how many people came together to do that particular uh, visual? You know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah. that's that's the, that's in your warehouse already. You personally. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, I feel like if I wasn't a director, I would be, like, a set designer or, mm -hmm. like, a visual pop, You know effects. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm all about the way things feel and the way they look in the frame. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I aspire for my films to kind of, each frame could be, could stand on its own as, like, you know, an image that represents, like, the whole film. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I'm all about the visuals first, bro. Dope. Yeah. That's super dope, bro. Yeah, it got to look right. It got to feel right. It got to, you know, mm -hmm. give me that feeling mm -hmm. for sure. So when y'all came, uh, how how involved in the casting were you? Um, oh, I was super involved, Okay. Man. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, so just kind of going back to like the, the getting the script and everything, I think originally the script was there. I think it was probably about like 90... 85 to 90 percent of what we saw in the final movie but i think the the one thing that was quote unquote missing was like the la culture right, right. Mm -hmm. and i think like you know this movie is a la movie and I, I say that selfishly because la is a very unique place where you could be in the hood you could be on 95th and vermont like literally vermont yeah. is like if you look straight down vermont it yeah. leads to the hollywood song right, right. you know right. what i'm saying Facts. and it's right. like so so you know we grew up in this like, in, right. the, in this hollywood lifestyle and so we know it like the back of our hands like you could be in the hood and be 20 minutes away from lebron's house mm -hmm. you know what i'm Big saying facts. you can mm -hmm. you could somebody could text you an address and you might be able to get into a, a, a party in the hills and yep. see all these celebrities mm -hmm. right. and so i want to make That's sure LA. that 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 story was present and like and and it involved the real people that are that that would be in this situation right. and not mm -hmm. just like a knucklehead kid. It's like, no, it's a knucklehead kid who probably lived with his auntie on Adams and mm -hmm. her right. bedroom, like his right. bedroom is actually her old bedroom. So you see some of her like old mm -hmm. paintings and old her little tiger, you know, sexy right. paintings on the mm -hmm. wall. Right. And he had to like, you know, just put his shit in the room. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, or, or this one kid who, who might be considered like, you know, a square or whatever. He live in Lamert Park with his right. family. Right. You know, he skateboard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he he got an old Prius. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like all those things that are that are real. You know, even some of those scenes where like we see him playing beats in the studio. It's right. like, you know, I came up the same way where I'm like yeah. trying to make beats, but I'm also playing these like futuristic like yeah. beats for like these hood niggas and like they don't <laughs> fuck with it. You know what <laughs> right, I mean? Right, right, right. Like that's like right, the journey, right. that's like right. the journey of like yeah. LA, you know, someone from here. And so I think like ultimately um, that's what I that's what I implanted. I made sure they knew, they knew that this was an LA story, mm -hmm. and it's not like you know we from like some small town in like in in, in Central California. Like right. we from LA. Like right, right. like I tell I say this all the time. I don't know what's going on in Nebraska, mm -hmm. but right. everybody in Nebraska knows what's going on in LA. Yeah. They see all y'all you know right, right, in Burbank mm -hmm. and North mm -hmm. Hollywood doing the yeah. TikToks and the Instagram. Yeah. Like they know what's cracking. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So I felt I felt comfortable like leaning into that and like showing them like this story from like the real LA's perspective. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of connected to the casting. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like when I when whenever certain people involved and there are certain roles that need to be filled, I'm like, oh, I know the perfect person for that. Mm -hmm. The homie from here or the homie that I see on Instagram that do all right. that. You know what I'm saying? It's right. like so I just wanted to make sure it felt authentic in that way. Right. I see you had the uh, head of security with my boy Chinadu. Oh yeah. My partner, man. <laughs> yep, Chinadu. Yeah, I saw him yeah. last night at the comedy club, man. <laughs> um 
That's dope. So uh, went to Narbonne. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you knew him personally? No, I didn't. But like okay. you know, once we figured it out, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. like you know, yeah, even like you know, everybody that's in there got an LA story. Damn, they're mm-hmm. not everybody, but the ones we yeah. know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kwan, Jamar and everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jamar like, neighbors. Yeah, that's yeah, my father bro. too. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, rich that kind homie. Of thing. Uh, yeah. Kwan. Yep. Yep. I love that part. Like I like I loved. I love that like the cast felt local. Yep. Right. Um, and then I loved the, the the merging of the social media world. Yeah, man. You know, like like I was in the theater. Uh, you know, saw the movie last night. Yeah, and like when Drewski appeared on on the screen, <laughs> yeah. it got the biggest gap. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, like yeah. more, like more so more so than like Snoop and yeah, like some of the yeah. others. But when Drewski came on, people were like that's Drewski, right? Uh-huh. And I remember like bugging out like this is this weird world that we'll look back on mm-hmm. where like the pendulum changed. Yeah. Yeah. For like stars, not good. Yeah. Like it was a lot of like young kids, like in the theater that that I was seeing it in. But like who they identified as stars uh-huh. yeah. versus who I might identify as For a star sure. True. True. was yeah. completely different. But everybody was in this movie. You had which was cool. Juvenile was a surprise. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I said Juvenile was done. That was that yeah. was fire. Um, when it came to uh. The kind of like the redo of the full force crew. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, my partner told me about the. Um, he told me who they were. He watched the movie before I did. Yeah, like uh, that that day I watched it on Monday. He, yeah, I mean, he watched it Monday day. I watched it Monday night. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "Man, they had a." Uh, they had Melvin. I know Melvin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, uh, they had Melvin. Boy. They had Alan mm-hmm. Maldonado, which I worked with him on a a, 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 a project, Netflix project a while ago. Okay. And um, Rotimi, I met him. So I know I, I don't know them all. Yeah, yeah. I met them all. I've worked mm-hmm. with them all yeah. in some way. And he told me they was, I, I watched Full Force <laughs> kill, murder, that they, 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 they make the movie, bro. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, the original. Um, and I was like, what? Here's the thing. That's why things uh, art wise, yeah. it, it works. But at first, I was like, oh, no, cause I, I, in my mind, I'm thinking like, I full four, them niggas is like me. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. I already know. And I was like, who, who the hell is gonna <laughs> recast know. them? <laughs> why they do that? <laughs> then I watched the film, and I will say because um, the niggas can act for sure, and the performance is strong. I even said it. I, I didn't initially. I was like, that's that sounds kind of crazy to have them play the the, <laughs> bad, the, the, the tough niggas. Yeah, my, Alan killed that shit. I believe this little ass walking over there, yeah. depressing them because I know niggas like that. Yeah, little mm-hmm. mighty Alan mighty from Rialto, dudes. You know, yeah, right. The punches and kicks. The punches, you know and, kicks, right. the punches yeah. and kicks seem like they hurt. Yeah, we well, he, he front kicked them yeah. and flew. That I shit said, was hilarious. hilarious. But, even, but, it, but 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 even like down to like the 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 new version of the full for, force crew. It's like. Like those dudes to me represented like three light skinned dudes who go around the city talking about their cousins and their brothers and they got mm-hmm. a little they got a little rap group. Right. They get money somehow, some way yeah. we don't really know. Right. They 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 low key too old to be around all these young people, uh-huh. but they still think they fresh. <laughs> yeah. They got they got money to wrap their car and put you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Like that's kind of they they only play their music in the yeah, car, yeah. even though it's whack. Weirdos, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. yeah, just like the old weirdos. Uh-huh. And, and I think like that that's like who they represented like I, and I, and I think like once again it's some LA shit like that's like I know so many people uh-huh. just like them that right. that you see driving around LA thinking they still got it you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. and like yeah. that's to me what the you know the 2023 <laughs> version of that is and then, then then I think about the the ridiculousness of the original Mm-hmm. When that Stab part. was yeah. Stab looked thirty five, they, they was they was forty two <laughs> years old. Yeah, they was forty two years old, and he was in he was getting suspended mm-hmm. from high school <laughs> in high school, and they wasn't from L A. They from like New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so true. I had to fall back. I said, "Hello, the original dudes." I, I Full knew forces growing up, a house party was was yeah. an L A. film. For sure. Full you know forces curl. Was can only be worn by an adult, <laughs> right? Right. right. As a like, young dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can like, never be that way. That's an adult. Yeah. Only, only an adult <laughs> would have all of the shit in that yeah. girl. Like only an adult. Yeah, it man. worked, man. Um, and uh, Greg uh, Melvin's uh, situation. With the, uh, I yeah. like how y'all made him like the preposterous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what's the word? Uh, the, the, the punishments. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the punishments. The, the torture. The torture. The the torture yeah. Torture. yeah. I was like, bro, what is he talking about? Mm-hmm. But that was amazing. That shit was. Yeah, we it, got it ended working. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and so that that to me, I sat there and they're like, okay, mm-hmm. I get it. I yeah, get man. It for sure. Yeah. And um, and I got. Oh, I do want. I'm gonna eventually get to this damn uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> the uh Illuminati. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. So here's the thing. I have my thoughts about it. I before I say anything, I was gonna ask you. Obviously, you didn't write that, but um, 
What you think when you wrote when you first when you first read that? I loved it, man. I think like once again, like when I was reading, I'm you know big fans of Atlanta, and I'm like, all right, all right, I know it's gonna be something here that's gonna be some like quote unquote oh, Atlanta shit. Right. Like what's gonna be the thing that's like, oh shit. And I remember when that came, I'm like, yo, this is perfect. Like this is like I love it. Like this is genius. I think another thing, kind of going back to the original, is like when we think about the original House Party movie, we only look at it in like highlights, right? Like we literally think about the house party and them dancing and mm -hmm. whatever. But that's only like 15, 20 minutes of the movie. And it's also like, what else happened in the house party? It wasn't mm -hmm. that much happening. You know what I'm saying? They was running around the city. They went to that other party and they the, you know, the, crashed the, that the, party. The, 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 yeah. the mansion party. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it took him a long time to get there because Martin, you remember Martin had to like wait yeah, for him to get yeah. picked up. You know what I mean? So it's like, we didn't want to spend our whole movie trying to like make this party the focus. Like it's about the adventure mm -hmm. trying to throw this party and just kind of leaning into like this whole LA thing and what people outside of LA probably have ideas of LA about like when it comes to like the Hollywood, you know, those parties and mm -hmm. the Illuminati, like we just want to want to kind of play into that and just like make fun of it. Okay. And you know, I, you already know how people react in this shit. Like people, yeah. people acting like, you know, like this is something that we're doing on purpose because blah, blah, blah. But it's like, yeah, bro. I, I read some trash. Yeah. It's just, yeah it's, just, it's just fun. Dog. Not that it's just serious. Like, it's, just, it's funny. I mean, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a parody of what y'all think is really happening. Mm -hmm. How did you get, or what was the conversation with Kid Cudi on how he was going to play himself? Man, it's funny because the, the that role was actually written for we we didn't know who it was going to be, but like we had the hopes and dreams of like, yo, bro, we got to get somebody like super big, like we got to get like Obama or like Oprah or like mm -hmm. like we was really try. I know that sounds crazy, but mm -hmm. like we was really trying to hold off to get somebody like hella big. Mm -hmm. And then I remember we was talking to Cudi to do another role. And he was like, yo, man, I like the script, but, you know, if I'm going to be involved in this movie, like, I got to have a bigger, you know, a bigger role. And and I was like, he's like, yeah, you know, I'll be acting. Like, I'll be acting, acting. And I, and I was like, yeah, man. He was like, no, nigga. Like, I'm an actor. <laughs> like, like, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was, love yeah, it. Yeah, like, he, he literally was like, it. no. Like, saying the way he did in the movie, he was like, no, nigga, a poem. Yeah, a he poem. Was like, he was like, <laughs> he was like, no, nigga, I'm an actor. And... You know, I was like, all right, we got to figure this shit out. And I was like, oh, shit, like the the role. Like we didn't, we didn't even have a name for it. It was just like, it was just like celebrity. big celebrity, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um and and it, we started to kind of like play with it with Cuddy in mind. And mm -hmm. that shit was like, boom, it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. And the Apple all central and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all that shit. That's him. That's him ad-libbing. To be honest, right. it was crazy. Him on set, like I never met Cuddy before. And I thought he was just going to come in and just kind of do it and leave. But he added way more to the character, mm -hmm. added so many different like layers and like really went hard. Like yeah, that nigga uh -huh. was like into it to the point where like, it'd be moments where I'm like, I can't believe he's still here. Like, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? Like he really, he's still here just chilling. Like, what's up? Like, what we doing? And yeah. I'm like, all right, yeah, this is great. So yeah, man, I thought, I thought, you know, he was a good sport. And he I think, great. you know, yeah. that moment in the movie was just like, I think it's a lot of people's favorite part, you know, and I think it was the time as a filmmaker where I could expand the world and just kind of mm -hmm. go crazy and just have fun and just like, you know, keep people on their toes, so to speak. Uh, you know? Okay. Shit. Uh, yeah. I've, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so, I saw, I saw his energy. <laughs> just because the cameos in this yeah. movie yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah. So was this you making the call? Was it the strength of LeBron making the call? Like, yeah. how did you get so many different people yeah. to say yes? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was a little bit of both. I mean, some people we had early written in the script, like, yo, we're going to get them, we're going to get them. Um, and then some people, like, we were just like, yo, who would be at LeBron's party? Mm -hmm. And we started naming people like Odell Beckham. All right, boom. That's crazy. Yeah. And it, right, like, like it, it would literally be like, oh, like we saw something on Instagram with where Odell was with LeBron, mm -hmm. and we was like, oh shit, let's put him in a movie. Right now, what is he going to be doing in a movie? Mm -hmm. Like, we know Odell like to dance, mm -hmm. but also we don't want Odell dancing in the house party. Like that's kind of like cliche. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's make it to where he can't dance because he injured. Mm -hmm. And you know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's funny because even even like the way uh, we came up with that moment with him and Lil Wayne. Uh -huh. Originally, it was gonna be like, "Yo, he gonna just sit down, go back and sit down, and then the couch that he sat on was gonna be one of them inflatable couches, and it was boom. gonna like boom up mm -hmm. in the sky, or whatever." Mm -hmm. And we was like, "Okay, that's cool, but it's not like whatever. It's not that funny." And then, you know, the dude from uh, Jamal, the, the writer, he was like, he was like, "Maybe you should just fall through the ground." And then Lil Wayne comes and says, "Like, now nah, you know he did," mm -hmm. and I and, and, and we was just like fucking around, uh -huh. like. 
it was like an inside joke. We weren't right. even really serious. Like we didn't know how he was gonna get Lil Wayne. Right. And then we was like, yo, this shit is actually really funny. Like if we can do this, like this would be like a moment. Uh-huh. And you know, we made some phone calls and Lil Wayne was down to do it. You know what I'm saying? And That's so I crazy. think and I think like like those type of like moments. People can look at it and say, oh, this is corny, but it's a certain type of humor you got to have to like understand how fucking funny like that particular scene is right. for Lil Wayne to be at the party one, but then to like say that line yeah. in mm-hmm. a, like in that way and then just uh-huh. like keep it pushing. Yeah, like, was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just like something that we felt good about and we was like, fuck it, let's just do it. Hey, you got the right to do it, man. I, yeah. I don't have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Do what the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You got you, you got, you right, got right, right. show, man, for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, what question I had? Uh, so how how many, how long, uh, as a as a filmmaker, I got to ask, how long did you shoot? How long was the uh, was production as, as far as, like, not not post and, and pre, but, like, yeah. how long did it take to shoot? I'm gonna say it, was, it was only very limited uh, locations. Yeah, it was it was you 35 days, though. Okay. So what happened was co- it was in the middle of COVID, too, so yeah. it was, like, super tricky on mm-hmm. that front. But, you know, uh, 35 days, and then also, you know, maybe about 12 of those days were nights. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but it was it was a lot, man. That shit was really hard, bro. Like, to be honest, like it's one of the hardest things I ever, you know, accomplished in my life. You know right. what I'm saying? I tell I was telling people, like, I feel like I was on an episode of Scare Straight, you know, where they wake <laughs> you up out of the bed, like, you wanna make a movie, nigga? Like, Damn. all right, like I'm a, like, 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 yeah, like, yeah, like you just like, oh shit. Like, right. I ain't got I, COVID is happening, yeah. like people gonna criticize the fuck out of this movie. Like, you ready, mm-hmm. you really wanna do this? And like I felt like I did it, you know, and I and I survived and like I, you know, I, I tell people like I literally learned something new every day that I wish I knew the day before. Mm, like, damn, if mm. I knew that yesterday, like I could have did that scene better. Damn, if I, and like, but at the end of those thirty five days, I got thirty five days worth of lessons that I can oh, yeah. apply to whatever I'm doing next. So you feel like you're a better filmmaker now? Oh hell after, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's kind of weird, even like promoting this movie. Like I feel like I'm a rapper that's like promoting my album from like three years ago. It's mm-hmm. like. Like yeah, this is cool, but like I got I, you got to hear these new bars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. still I'm still proud of it, and I mm-hmm. and I can't wait for people to like see it, and you know. But mm-hmm. it's just like you know I'm I'm kind of, I've learned so much on right. a daily, even when it comes to editing and and marketing, it's like it's constant like lessons being learned. So uh, you being the director, of everything you the boss in yeah. a sense, like how and this is your first feature. Yeah. Um, have you done any shorts beforehand? Nah, man. Okay, no but you, shorts. But, no, no shorts. <laughs> my, my only short is probably like I consider the short is probably Old Town Road. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Long, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah. yeah. So, how'd you? So were you? Were you nervous? Were you was like, I'm ready to rock? Did you? Did Did you feel like people? Uh, like the production of the studio had like, okay, this dude can do it. Yeah, I mean, I think that you know, <clears throat> my experience in music videos and commercials <clears throat> definitely came in handy. I think like. It's interesting, like, I think music videos, commercials, and film are, like, and even television are, like, four different, mm-hmm. like, mediums, but, right. like, but we, we all use the same tools. Right. But you would sure. think that people in commercials know about music videos and people in film know about commercials, but, like, they don't know shit. Like, they don't intertwine at all. They kind of mm. stay in their own lanes, right. you know what I'm saying? And so, <clears throat> I think... um I came into this situation being like, fuck, this is my first movie. I got to learn all this stuff on the fly, but... I quickly learned that I actually had more experience than I thought. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Doing these music videos and doing these commercials, you know, I was able to to apply, you know, different approaches that I use in those mediums to the filmmaking side. <clears throat> and, you know, there'll be moments where people are panicking, like, fuck, we only got 20 minutes to shoot this. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, and they're not used to, like, being, like, run and gun. Sense. I'm like, no, give me the camera. Put the light there. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, boom. All right, action. Like, boom. you know what I'm saying? Figure yep. it out. Yep. Don't cut it. Just keep it rolling. All right, go over there. Run, run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I think, you know, I think so. early on, like, I realized, that, okay, I can do this shit. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like, what I was capturing, you know, was... uh was working and you know they they loved it so yeah no complaints there that's dope yeah that's dope so the process was pretty seamless like no it wasn't like you felt like you were on set and like not knowing what to do and everybody looking at you like nah you, you gave me this opportunity what the fuck are you doing nah I mean it's definitely it's definitely I think the only um thing that was kind of like new to me was like having to quote unquote answer or get things approved by the studio mm-hmm. like um like for example like 
how we got juvenile and the back that ass up moment, right? Like, like overall, like eventually they got they got into it, but like, or eventually they they were okay with it. But at first they were like, "Yo, we need to find a song." Like, I don't think this is relevant enough. You know what I mean? Right. Like, Juvenile's mm-hmm. an older artist. And I'm like, nah, y'all don't get it. Like, mm-hmm. it ain't about his age. Like, this is like literally like, this is like the number one party song that this people play doom, to get the party doom, going. Doom, you know what I'm saying? When doom, the shit is, doom, yeah, when yeah. shit hits the fan, you need that song. And so I had to like, I couldn't just say like, nah, trust me. Right. I had to, I had to find a way to like articulate my point and like have like a, you know, a professional argument, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And I remember I sent them a video of, uh, of Ellen dancing to back that ass up and i'm like yo look ellen is dancing to back that ass up that's how big this song is you know what i'm saying it's right. so funny too because like i think like a week later they had that like juvenile did that vax that ass up mm-hmm. <laughs> right yeah mm-hmm. and i was just like and, and they were like oh this is and i'm like all right see like see? you know what i mean and so that's how i was able to get that but you know it's it's just like you know in their minds they want like whoever the new freshest hottest artist is and i'm like that's how you kind of get in that weird territory of making something corny cuz right. ain't no telling who that would have who that would have been and if they would have been relevant right now you know what i'm saying right. but juvenile is going to always be relevant yeah it's like jump around mm-hmm. yeah exactly like jump 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 you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. Yeah. yeah always hitting you know what i'm or saying even like, Our baby or, got backs you know what i'm saying yeah even like when we did the dance scene to uh to uh this is how we do it it's yeah. like when that song comes on, like no matter how you know current the crowd is, when that song comes on, the first thing people do is like they do like a little old school dance. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's right. that's mm-hmm. what gave them the 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 motivation to do the kid and play, not just like doing the kid and play because like that's what the movie is. It's like right. if that song come on, we're gonna do the old school. Little, the old you know school. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's that's yeah. kind of what motivated that. Nah, it's dope. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love the science behind mm-hmm. it, bro. Yeah, 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 man. Yep. That's dope, man. So um. So in, in, in moving forward, you have uh, what projects you got coming up? Man, I mean, I'm just doing commercials right now, but I just wrapped uh, "White Man Can't Jump," which is coming Damn. soon. Um, so you know, another I gotta kind of go through the same <laughs> thing again. Yeah. Um, with you know, talking about is it a remix? Is it a, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? It's the same approach, man. Like I really, I really did the same thing. I really just told this story through. Um, through the lens of like Los Angeles and like, you know, Los Angeles has a very intense sports community, right? right. Where it's like a lot of pros come from LA, mm-hmm. but also like the question is like, what happens to those people who they like, don't who don't make it, yeah. who are right there? And like, how do they deal with everyday life? Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that we tapped into um, with this film, man. So I'm excited for people to see, you know, how we, how we flip this one. That's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Nah, it's, dope. It's, 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 dope. it's interesting to, to, uh, to see, a movie remake, reboot, remix, mm-hmm. and and a different spin on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How you had uh, they one kid in play. Yeah, it was uh, it was Kevin and Demond. Yep, Damon. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's Demond. It's Demond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, uh, Demond was selfish as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And um, like play, like play, <laughs> even a little bit more though, a, a lot more, yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, buddy, but at the end, he 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 tapped in with his partner and he didn't leave mm-hmm. him hanging. That was dope. Um, yeah, man. I, I like the uh. So, and you did you cast them specifically? Yeah, you was like, I want Kevin, I want Jacob Lattimore. Yeah, and this dude, I, I don't, I don't think I've seen him before. But I like him though. Tosin, yeah, Tosin. Mm-hmm. yeah, Tosin Cole. He's from the UK. That's great. <laughs> I, I have seen him mm-hmm. then. Yeah, he Toast was on that show, Doctor Who. He yeah. was just in that movie Till that just came out. He mm-hmm. played Megger Evers. Um damn. he's he, he's in a movie. Damn, what the what's the name of the movie? It's about these frat brothers. It's called uh it's on Netflix. Um damn, I forgot the name of it. Um damn. Oh, Netflix. Oh, oh. It's like Ro, Ro Timmy is in it. Uh oh, mm-hmm. it's not uh not Bernie Sands. Bernie Sands. He's mm-hmm. in Bernie yeah. Sands. He wanna he's one of the dudes on the line. Damn, I watched Bernie yeah. Sands. Back in 2017. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I watched it a long time ago before it even came out. Yeah. And uh okay. Yeah, Tosin is dope, man. Even the man. Yeah. So I had I thought I had never seen him before, but I have seen him before. Yeah. I've yeah, seen him yeah. I don't think I've seen him play that type of character. No, I and that's the beauty of it. I yeah. didn't recognize the yeah. damn actor because he was playing a totally different guy that I've ever seen him play before. Yeah, I mean, even when it came to casting for that, I was like, man, like this character, like I'm reading this and I'm like, yo, this gotta be like a real LA nigga. Like it has to be like yeah. someone that I've never really seen on screen before, but I know this person exists. Mm-hmm. And so when we was doing the auditions and like I saw him, I was like, 
Oh yeah, he for sure from LA. Like he, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where he's from because I'm like, mm-hmm. I, so like, you thought you, he in his you, audition? You, you thought gotta he was... like he gotta be from LA. Like there's no way. And I was like, that's him. And I looked up his resume and I'm like, oh shit, he was on this show. He was in this movie. Like he's dope, man. And then I found out like maybe a couple of weeks later when I like hit him up to have a conversation that he was from the UK. And Damn. I think like you know, there's a lot of like talk about like you know actors coming here and like stealing the roles and all mm-hmm. that shit. But I think. You know, I think it's interesting, like, from a director's perspective, like, if I'm casting a role, what am I supposed to do if I see this dude, like, just nail it 100%? Am I right. supposed to change my mind? Like, Because he's not from the crib? Not from, yeah, it's not, it's not that yeah. deep. And I think, like, him specifically, like, he was also, he's also, like, a student of the culture. And not just, like, the broad culture, but, mm-hmm. like, the culture culture. Like, I'm sure he follow you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. I'm mm-hmm. sure he didn't see all these skits and he know right. the tone and he knows about... You know, watch Tommy Kwan, and you know, yeah, like yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. tapped in on that kind of right. on that kind of level. And you know, when he came to LA, you know, he already had the accent down down packed. Like we talked about it a little bit, but you know, we had him spend a day with uh, with Problem, mm-hmm. and he was just in Problem what? was just kind of give him the little mm-hmm. you know give him the little LA lingo, or or even when he was like, um, I remember there was a scene in the movie where he he put out the uh, the little baby suit, and he yeah. was like, LeBron is the size of two humans, and he was like, Nah, three. And like he first he was just like like three like and I was like nah yeah. you gotta yeah, you nah, gotta he got yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like a three you know, you know what I'm saying it's like you do yeah. a piece but it's a three you know right, what I'm saying right. so that those are the little things that we wanted to like uh-huh. you know make sure that he got yeah. right instead mm-hmm. of just like the accents. So I was trying to think is he from, I was like is dude from LA? I ain't never seen him before <laughs> yeah but, I, bro. but he's not but so. It's crazy because um, I don't feel that way, but I know people do. Like, man, all these British dudes who come yeah. taking the roles, and yeah, why? Whole, why man. Franklin Saint from the UK? Why Franklin? Yeah, they Saint? homies too. Like yeah, him, and, him and uh, him and Damson are like really good mm-hmm. homies. That's too. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Damson did. It. I like him as Franklin Saint. Yeah, even though it. talent even, is talent, man. It's talent funny. Cause, it's funny because my dad, like, he grew up in that in that crack era. Mm-hmm. And he got pictures from him back in the day, and he looked just like Franklin Saint. Yeah, that's same crazy. little mini fro, yeah, same nose, same with my pops. I'm like, man, that's my that's my dad. Yeah, yeah, and he's then. It, our boy Tosin, he nailed it. So if it works, it works. Now, question: As a LA native and a director of this film, did you was your was your goal? Your goal was to find an LA actor to play this character for sure. Initially, yeah, because like to be honest, it's a weird. I, and it's like, you know, I got to be like PC when I say this, but like I feel like a lot of actors these days, it's hard to find just like real niggas mm, and not right. like in a, not like in a neck like a stereotypical like negative way but just like regular ass like niggas who are just from the the, the streets or whatever mm-hmm. but like but know how to act you know what i'm saying right. like not to say like lorenz tate was that but like right. people like you know uh my boy that played kane in menace society or yeah. like you know what i mean just yeah. like regular and i'm yeah. and i'm like all these actors i get are like they come from theater or they're, mm-hmm. they're like from new york or like you know what i'm saying it's not really so i was like i, I really made it a point like i need to find some la niggas some, for yeah. something authentic. But like yeah like even like i think malcolm mays he's a good example of that right. like he's from la like right. he's like you know what i'm saying exactly. like Shout people malcolm, people yeah. like him you know what i'm saying it's mm-hmm. not too many you know what i right. mean like melvin from melvin gray from virginia, from virginia you know what i mean yeah. like yeah. Oh, timmy from, from new jersey, from new jersey. You know yeah mm-hmm. and so it's just like from you know alan yeah yeah alan's from rialto oh he's from here yeah yes but 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 alan kind of falls in that category right like yeah. he kind of is just like a regular like a real nigga he uh-huh. can, and he has the range to do all right, types right. of you know right. roles so i think like that's something i was looking for and i think like he had that spirit for me you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and like to be honest like i'm sure that that actor exists but i don't know what it is about like just acting in general but i feel like not enough like young people from where we from are even yeah. pursuing acting know, like that man. you know right. what i mean there's a, there's a few people like uh like that, the dude that's on Snowfall right now, Norm Nixon's son. He playing. Mm-hmm. He plays yeah. uh, Norm Nixon on the Lakers show. Mm-hmm. He from L.A. You know, he's yeah, dope. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. like, you know, I just, I just, I just hope that, I just hope that you know more of these kids start to like pursue acting because there's definitely oh. opportunities for them for sure, yeah, especially for sure. Can we talk about Maya? Yeah, <laughs> As we always we definitely. We, we can always talk can about we, Maya. So how you know, like. Huge crush on Maya. Still oh, huge crush on Maya. That's why, she, since, that's why she in the movie. Yeah. Hey, hey, She's dude. on the list. <laughs> oh, since when, though? Hmm? I'm going all the way back. Since the first video with her and yeah. Cisco. Yeah. I'm going back to Teen Summit, homie. <laughs> Teen Summit. <laughs> before the record label. Before the Teen music career. Summit. That's crazy. She was a little dancer a... in Teen Summit, bro. Oh, she was on Teen Summit. She was, on, just, like a... she was like, oh, you know, because it was, uh, what's her name? Um, 
What's her, the the host? Uh, Ananda, Lewis? Ananda Lewis. Yeah, she I had did. a thing for her too. She was amazing, but uh, she was like the host of the show yeah, along yeah. with somebody else, mm-hmm. a dude, I think. And the kid, it was like teenagers on the show, mm-hmm. and Maya was one of the teenagers that be wow, on the show. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, Maya Harrison. I said, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I gotta go look that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Oh yeah, I go back. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And then she became yeah. this artist. You wow, know what yo, that's Maya. Dope. Maya's on the list me, for sure. Me and my wife have a list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. There's five names. <laughs> and she was like, you know, I get what I mean? it. I get you it. know yeah. that uh, <laughs> that won't that won't destroy the marriage, right? Um, right. So uh, I'm watching the film, and uh, and I and I see Maya, and I'm like, oh no, they did, right. no, they didn't. I, I not think she's gonna pull up. Yeah, <laughs> man, just uh, you know, like I like I imagine. So then I was thinking about you. While I'm watching the film, and I'm like, this guy's getting his wish list. Yes. Like, 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 he's, yes. like he's everything that you could possibly ask for. Mm-hmm. He's getting, and he's getting Maya to show up. You know, right. to 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 play a you know beautiful mm-hmm. Maya. As right. it's awesome. That's Tell dope. us about that. Yeah, man. I mean, it was it was one of those things that it was written in the script, and I was like, yes, this is exactly mm-hmm. you know was 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 happening. And like, I think that's another thing is like you know we're used to like all these movies being written by like older people and right. like they mm-hmm. might have something similar, but they don't really like know, know like exactly like that, what's yeah. happening. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know, this movie was written by someone that was born in 1987, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. they understand like the importance of Maya, you know what I mean? Right. Like Maya is like- The importance yeah, of Maya. <laughs> like damn, there are Pam Greer or right. like, you know, Heather uh-huh. Lockley or whatever. Fact, it's like, fact, yeah. you know, like we all got that, we all had that King magazine, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, with Maya on the cover. Maya, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To and, uh, <laughs> to this day. To this day. Yeah. yeah. So, and so, you know, um, and, and also, once again, just thinking about L.A., like if you have a party in the hills, you might see Maya. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what you I'm saying? That's not great. That's not weird. If the not movie, at all. If the movie took place in like fuck New Jersey, like that would be weird. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. But like it's L.A. Like Maya is probably performing somewhere mm-hmm, tonight. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so um, when we had the opportunity to to cast her in, she is an actor as well. Like she does. She has her own roles. Like I was like. Oh yeah, like this is a no brainer. Mm-hmm. You know, we brought her on set. It was it was crazy because everybody was just like, "Yo, that's mm-hmm. Maya, bro!" Like, yeah. like when she rapped, it was like a line of people trying to take pictures with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just you know it's like one of those things. But um, no, nah, it, it was special to have her, man. And um, and once again, it's just like it's just like that's the culture, man. Like, and I think that's what I try to do. This whole movie was just like think about like what would be crazy to me? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, wh- like who is that girl that like, it's funny because mm-hmm. we was thinking like, man, what if we don't get Maya? Who can it be? And it wasn't that many people that had that same, right. like, mm-hmm. um, that of same, like, yeah. Yeah. of like, okay, we, or it was somebody like, okay, we see them on Instagram all the time. We're not right. tripping off them. Mm-hmm. But like, Maya, Maya, like you don't just mm-hmm. see Maya. You, you know what I'm saying? Top so, tier. Yeah, top, top tier. tier. Top tier. <laughs> top tier. Top man. tier. And so, Precious Jim. Uh-huh. Yeah, she, Precious she, she Jim came, Divine. <laughs> she came in and she was great, man. It was, it was fun, man. It was like you said, it was a wish list. It was yeah, like a dream. Man. Yeah. True. Man, man, living the dream. Hell yeah, man. That's the I saw her. I was like, man, that's that's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Along with a, a, lot, a lot of stuff. It was definitely mm-hmm. fun. I'm gonna say it real quick before we wrap up, man. One thing that I thought was super uh odd, out the blue, <laughs> not odd. Mm-hmm. It was random. Lena Waif in there, but oh, she yeah. was yeah. hilarious. Bro. Oh, yeah, bro. She had me the, the, I funny. actually laughed at that. I was yeah. like, and she said, uh, we go to we go to England. Or she, go to the, <laughs> we go to the UK. We plan a get uh, we, we plan a gang of shit. They pick it. I started rolling. The, mm-hmm. It was just how she said it, and like they 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 pick a gang of shit that we plant. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, that, that's funny, man. Yeah, uh, man. I mean, once again, like. You go to a Hollywood party, you're gonna see Lena Way. Fact, chill. You, you might even see Gator there. Like, right. that's just like, right. <laughs> you right. Know what Gator I mean? was in there too. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, once just sticking true to like, like what that really feels like, man. I think we, I think we accomplished that, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Man, I mean, let me, let me say my piece before you say your piece, <laughs> right? Yeah, please. You know, we, we are a podcast about black movies. We yeah. love black movies, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, we love watching them and talking about them. So we always, are going to support black film. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But man, after spending this hour with you, hearing your story, hearing your perspective, man, I'm a huge fan. Man, I just, I, you know, like, absolutely. I want you to keep making movies. Yeah. Yes, um, <laughs> it's just like, just your whole story and the humility, but also the confidence you bring to it. Yeah. Man. I just think that shit is fucking awesome. Appreciate right. That, like, you man. know, and I didn't, you know, and I didn't know what to expect, yeah. but I got to tell you, man, like, 
I'm very surprised. I'm very proud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like as as somebody, you know, around the same age group. Yeah. Um so keep on, bro. Thank you, man. Keep on, bro. I Thank love you, man. I love yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. I, same here, same here, bro. Take just, these flowers. Yeah. I think I heard about I, I found out about you. I forget how someone told me uh this is like a few years ago. Yeah. About Cal Matt. I was like, Cal Matt, yeah, yeah, he's from LA. I said, Cal Matt, let me look this nigga up, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, every filmmaker that's from here, I want to look at it. I said, I wonder, oh, he oh. Okay, oh, oh, he's from the crib. He's yeah. from, he from here, from here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's a, a breath of fresh air that yeah. we got another one. Um, Hell yeah. Another black filmmaker yeah. doing good shit, man. And, uh, and then having the energy that you have, bro. I'm glad you came. But you're our first celebrity guest, man. Oh, you know man. Saying? I ain't no celebrity. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hey, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but, hey, man. Yeah. Hey. And, I, and I appreciate y'all too, man. Also, I appreciate you for what you've done Thank for you, the culture like i think it's so funny like during this movie there's a bunch of quote-unquote ig comedians Mm -hmm. and i think you know that's you know those those actors get like a negative you know Mm -hmm. stench to them but it's like the reason why they are ig act ig comedians is because it's not enough roles for them to play you know what i mean and so i did feel it was my responsibility to kind of like this is one of the first mainstream movies that has all these yep. th- yeah. th- that kind of yep. has the tone of what you guys kind of right. set as like this mm-hmm. is the modern day comedy that people consume on a daily basis right. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like it's a, it's a certain tone a certain mm-hmm. energy that we haven't really seen on a big screen nationwide right. and so mm-hmm. it's this movie is kind of a, a homage to like you guys and, and right. like what you guys still continue to do for people every single day right. like you're the number one form of entertainment. Like everybody mm-hmm. is, everybody follows certain, like, you know, like yeah. DC Young Fly and, yeah, for sure. and Big Job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, you know, I think, you know, I, I hope that there's more opportunities for the world to see, you know, the genius mm-hmm. behind what y'all do too. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. Man. yeah, sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. It's all happening, man. So it's all happening, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Due time, man. Due time. Yes, sir, man. Once yep. again, uh, greatness uh, that, that, you, that you are exuding, man, when it comes to making these films, bro. I can't wait to see White Man Can Jump. Check that out, too. Yes, sir. Go, go to the theaters right now and watch House Party yep. uh, and enjoy it, man. And, and watch it with the, with, the, 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 with the intention of watching a good film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. To be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Don't do what I did. Initially, I'm thinking uh, House Party 1. Yeah. Let me see what this is. You got to look at it from a totally different perspective. You know what I'm saying? So you come in here and speak in your mind and, and, and speaking on the, 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 the decisions, it makes sense to me now. Yeah, honestly. exactly. Exactly. So, and no, I'm like, yeah. okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm looking at it. I'm going to go back and watch it again yeah. and look at it with that with, the, with those eyes. You know what yeah, I mean? no, so, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. And then I'm going I'm, to I'm be in your DM shooting my shot. I'm be like, all right, now yeah. here we go. Last Dragon 2. <laughs> Last right, Dragon now, 2. All right, now let me tell you the scenario. Like, I'm so yeah. enough. Show sure enough. Little cousin. <laughs> Show enough ain't dead. <laughs> right, right, right. Right, man. Thank you. He doesn't have the glow. He has the glow. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure, bro. Yes, sir, bro. Absolute pleasure. This is dope, man. Mm-hmm. I, um, if you ever have time and, and and down ever come back, bro, we would love. Oh to yeah, have. yeah, yeah. We can just talk yeah. about movies. Some of your too. favorite films, right? Yeah. Yeah. All day, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah, saying? for sure, yeah, for sure. The wood, whatever we can talk about. Oh hell shit, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Mackin, <laughs> <Latin. laughs> hey, yeah, all that. Yes, yeah, sir. That yeah, nigga's sir. a blood. <laughs> that nigga's a blood. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all saw him. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, absolutely. Like, yeah, that's Lavinio. Yeah, Lavinio. You know what I'm saying? Where he at, man? Yeah, we we gotta bring that nigga back. Yes, sir. Super talented, man. Yeah, he is for sure. Super dope. For yeah, sure, man. bro. Yeah. And yeah, man, this is great, but thank you for coming, bro, once again. Y'all, man. I was, Perfect. I was tight, man. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. It's the last, the last real quick. We, I'm going to say bye. It's all good. Oh, um, man. No, no, no. It's all good. No, no, no. No, no, no worries. It's all good, bro. <laughs> say that I'm out. I on the move. He on the move for sure. All right. This is an episode of Black Busters, man, uh, featuring Brother Calmatic, man. Thank mm-hmm. you for coming, bro. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, catch us next time, thank man. You. On the next uh, episode of uh, Black Busters, I am Big Ja, mm-hmm. along with brother Kid Tony. Yeah, Kid Tony. Yeah. Yes, sir. Catch us next time, man. Love life. Be good or be good at it, man. To the max. Pew. <laughs>